get to this uh, just flight pad in time. So this is key right here. It's importantly stays flying here because as you saw the flying pad disappeared. So that was the Mad Monster Mansion, which switch, Jiggy. Now we never hit the Frizzy Peak Book switch, and all that does is it actually opens the um, <coughs> opens the platform where the Jiggy is. But the Jiggy is always there, so if you know where it is, you can just do that. <laughs> For all of you, the stream might have hiccuped a little bit right there. I'm just going to go back and just to make sure, read Michael Jimenez's $5 donation. Late Night Tacos and Banjo-Kazooie. Ah, life is good. Please put this towards the expert remix levels in Super Meat Boy. Happy gaming. So now this is the spot where I needed that level 1 water. Uh, so the water level is higher, so he can actually get up by Rusty Bucket Bay and that cauldron up there now. So it's just to get up here. If you could get up here without it, then you could go straight over there and get level 2, and it would go straight to level 2. Yeah, yeah and then you, I believe you wouldn't even need to go to Mad Monster Mansion at that point. You probably wouldn't, no. Right? So that's water level 2. There is a third water level, but you don't see it in speedruns because it's just to get the third Cheeto book. Uh, there's so that little hallway he walked through just a second ago has a weird property. If you get the third water level, so you raise up to the third water level, and there's two different heights of water in that room. So one of the height in the hallways, I believe, a little lower than the height in the rest of the room. So, if you swim between two heights of water while they are, uh, I guess, lowering, because that switch is timed. The third water switch is timed. So, if you get between there right as the water is lowering, you can, like, swim in air and some crazy <laughs> stuff. But uh, we don't have any uses for it yet. This is probably the hardest level in the game to get 100 notes in without dying. Yeah. We got five dollars and fifteen cents from Andrew Chang. Yo, Stivity, if you feel th this is all in caps. Yo, Stivity, if you feel stressed, remember com.com. Talk to you when you get back. Go cause from the number one honest man. Yip yip yip. $20 from Chris Michaels. Love what you guys are doing. A woman I work with has been diagnosed four times with cancer years ago and is still a survivor. Keep taking down Banjo-Kazooie. Cure cancer. Put this towards whatever and the dude with the Batman shirt. So, uh, this number is... This number is punching in. Is on the side of the ship Yes. It's actually right near here somewhere. Chris Michaels. You'll probably see it on the way back. We got $20 from Sean McCoy. Put this towards letting the guy in the green shirt being comfortable and putting his foot back on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so how much is that? That's $20, so it was 10 against and now you 20 to put it back okay, on. Okay, so 20 is back on the couch. It's back on the couch. So you're meant to like cross this room a couple of times and go around it. But if you do a flap as soon as you get in, uh, you can just go straight to it. So that saves quite a bit of time in this room. So Gruntilda is saying the oily water, uh, you... You lose air when you're on the surface and you lose double when you're under it. Yes. We got five dollars from Max Sandler. I'll donate another fifty if the stream chat can count from one to ten in order of in order of all different people. P.S. Money goes towards Cosmos Wind Waker run. 
I'll donate another 50 if the stream chat can count from 1 to 10. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just create a go and play and just, you know, have timer set up. Just set mod chat only. What? <laughs> I think we're generally confused. Yeah, I think I think he wants us to just go count from one to ten, but just like a different person. Yeah, it has to be ten different people. I'm saying connect ten to chat. Oh, stream chat. Is he having oh. stream chat identify the people? Or is he having... Oh, I guess he just needs to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he just needs to You can actually kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so this room. Well, best of luck. <laughs> this room only has a um, You also out. had something. Oh, you have forty dollars from someone to put towards any of the castle materials. <laughs> so Nora, dog sorrow. Oh, oh yeah. forty dollars. Yeah, whatever you want to put it towards within oh, those yeah. games. Okay, uh, Richter. Forty dollars on Richter. Yep. Another random thing, like one interesting thing about this game is like the continuity, the continuity of the music as you transition between zones. So like you're underwater, like the music's playing, plays slower. And but then when you get out of the water, it's at the same point in the music. It just like transitions instruments effectively. Yeah, yeah it's. The um, overworld is really good down as well. Yeah, the There's like 10 plus different versions of the overworld song, and it just like fades to them as you like enter different zones. Yes, yeah, so you can do that on any slope, and you don't have to pay any of the tolls. He has to spit eggs in there for the time. Yeah, it would actually cost a significant amount of eggs if you actually had to do all of them. Yeah, and I think there's a cutscene associated with it as well. This level is probably one of the more annoying levels just because, like, you go in a loading zone, get like four notes and something else, and then go out of the loading zone. I like this one. Four yeah. yeah, four see notes. You later. Eight. <laughs> see you later. It, it's just annoying because a loading zone costs like almost 10 seconds by itself. Going the middle in one and has out. just the ginger in there. Uh, yeah. And it's kind of easy to get lost in this room too because it all looks the same. Yeah, this room. Hey, there's a one more token. <laughs> <laughs> Great camera angles in that room as well. Oh yeah, I was practicing that room and like getting the jump that I wanted right away was really hard because the camera swings when you know. Ten dollar donation from Peter Howe. Hey, just wanted to say thanks for streaming these great speedruns and a shout out to my best male, Aaron. Madubla. We got a ten dollar donation from. Nice. <laughs> So normally the game stops you for a couple of seconds while it lowers it all the way down, but you skip that. We got $10 donated from Uchiha Suzuki. Hi, this is Uchiha Suzuki from the F-Zero community, Uchiha SDA on Twitch. Good job on the marathons. They get bigger each year and that raises the chances of beating cancer. I wish I could attend one of these and run F-Zero X with a 64 disk drive expansion kit or at least a Mario Kart game. We got $20 from Derek Showalter. This goes to whatever the runners want to play. This is my second year watching, and what you do is really something special. Keep up the good work. $20, anyone? Knuckles and Sonic 2? It's good, we're all taking turns. We're all taking turns. $20 on Knuckles for Sonic 2 from Eric Showalter. I don't want to 
So I know a lot of people who grew up with PS1s kind of complain about the, um, the three <laughs> that goes on for hours and hours in this game, but I mean, given the choice between that and the abomination that is PS1 voice acting, I probably take oh. this every day of the week. <laughs> All right, so serious time. The engine room. Yeah, this is serious time. One down. Yeah, so that's the room you normally have to go in to slow those fans down, which is how you're supposed to go through it normally. But because you have a little bit of invincibility after you get hit, uh, you can do that. So another thing I want to point out while we're here, um, we passed one of those pipes earlier. Like, you'll notice he's been jumping in pipes to get into loading zones in a couple spots that have like four notes each or whatever. Some of those pipes are enemies and they have like teeth and they'll lunge at you and attack you. And if you're in Rusty Bucket Bay as B and you get attacked by one of those things at like a very specific pixel, you can be jammed through the boat and just into the water. <laughs> Which is useful in a tool assisted run because you cannot break the windows on the boat to get in the boat, but if you if you get inside the boat, you can get behind the window. So to get all of the notes in this, you'd have to do that five times just to be. <laughs> Three times to get behind windows, one time you can go around the outside of the level and get to the anchor. And I think that covers it. Wouldn't you also need to get into the engine room? You can clip from that one room. Nice. Yeah, so if you hit this yeah. boss before it like wakes up, you yeah, don't have normally to fight the, it. Yeah, normally the box closes around the jiggy, but if you move where it is, then the jiggy just stays in place. You want to show the awesome N64 prize one more time? Do you want to sell it? Can, can, can win if they donate $5 or more during this game? I don't even really know what you do with this thing, but <laughs> if someone else wants to look it. Five dollars, that's a steal. Official Nintendo 64 merchandise. We got fifteen dollars from Ashton uh, Bonmiller. I was sitting here eating my spaghetti and spilled it all over myself when watching these crazy glitches. You guys are amazing. Shoutouts to Jim Rusley, a uh, friend I used to speedrun with as a kid. I know you're out there watching, bro. Put this money towards whatever you guys want. $15. Die hard. Die hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great stage, by the way. $15 from yeah. Ashton. Remember, these world record attempts don't come cheap. <laughs> it's 200 attempts for tomorrow. It's 200 dollars for attempt for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Die hard. It, it, hurt, it hurts his feet. It does hurt my feet. 
What and happens? then his gun jams. And then <laughs> stairs. What happens if you beat the next one and then he gets the world record on the one before? Then I have to break the world record. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, break it. Die Hard's kind of a niche uh, community consisting of only myself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when we get to the run, you'll see why we find it so entertaining. Nice. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty great game. Wow, first All these new Great camera for this game. Well, not quite as awesome as Castlevania 64's camera, but pretty close. <laughs> so, if you could get to this puzzle switch, uh, you can actually, I think you can get back into Click Clock Wood and get B, and it would save a lot of time if you could get to that puzzle switch without raising the water. Is that correct, my game? Man? I couldn't Maybe. tell you for sure. I have trouble. Sounds right. I have trouble visualizing Granny's layer in this game because it's just very convoluted. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Well, it sounds like the earlier you get B, the more time you would save. So that when he tagged the pot earlier, you saw that cutscene, and I, that's the exact pot that you would use to warp pot, warp cauldron rather, to uh, that's right next to where the B transformation zone ends. So that's the spot where you get B out of Click Clock Wood. We got five dollars from Matthias Franson. Hey guys, felt like it was time for a second donation. You guys have really inspired me to start speedrunning myself. Can't wait to get home from my vacation to set up my stream and start practicing myself. Much love from Sweden. We got $20 from Jacob Walroth. This is going to be an enjoyable week. Thanks for all the entertainment. Please put the money towards 100% in VVVVVVV. Have to see Fiery Blizzard get that one trinket. Smiley face. Okay, I'm just going to point out the transformation zone here, approximately. So when I say now, he has walked over about where the transformation zone ends. Right now. So all you have to do is get that little distance between where the bee untransforms and the pot to get the bee out of there. But it's a lot more precise than it looks. Or it sounds, rather. We got $10 from Andrew Slavin. Slavin. Uh, I was close. Been watching since Ape Escape and having a good time. Donation in honor of Chris Chung and in hope for more Super Meat Boy levels. Keep up the excellent work there, guys. We got one dollar from Matthew Moises. Last try leaving a... Last try leaving a comment, hoping my comment gets through this time. Good luck to Stiv. Let's hope for no picnics. Also put all of my 11 Australian fun bucks on something. Hope for the best in the engine room. All the way from Oz Smesty. So the one you was on? We got $10 donated anonymously. Really enjoyed my time watching AGDQ. Thanks for being awesome and fighting cancer. Put my money towards Skyrim. Also, Cosmo is best pony. This level is so crazy. Like, as he's jumping around those birds, if one of them would chop him, he would fall all the way down the tree. And Pretty much fall any down. mistake at this point. Except like, that. Yeah. <laughs> it causes him to fall all the way down the tree. Which... Not only, not only is that a huge time loss, but it also causes you to take lots of damage. We got twenty dollars from Pabst Blue Phantom. Hey, <laughs> I like it. Hey, this is this is Pabst Blue Phantom. I'm donating since my mom almost died from lung cancer and pancreatic cancer is hell bent on taking out the male members of my family for some reason. Also, I want this money to go towards Flicky playing as Dante in DMC3. His opinions on the Souls games are terrible, but his Bayonetta run was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. $10 from Aaron Mercer. Cosmo is my waifu. $5 from Timothy Day. Hey guys, my name is Timothy. This is the first time watching this is the first time watching AGDQ live, and I am proud to donate such a great to such a great cause. I am donating five dollars to see lag.com eat ear wax again. LOL. 
We got five dollars from Dalen Bishop. Let's beat cancer just like Bowser. We got twenty-five dollars from Colin Elving. Put this down for Rayman Origins and the fairies' bodacious hips. We got twenty dollars from Michael Green. Shoutouts to my to my waifu Totori Chan and twenty dollars on Expert Meat Boy. So basically this level has four seasons and each season has its own little like gimmicks. So this one has beehives everywhere. Um, you'll notice the leaves have grown out because it's summer. And uh, now there's red feathers around the center of the tree. Also all those birds that come out to chomp here, they're a little bit bigger. So like, you have to watch out. Yeah. And so is that why you um, dodge them in spring but you don't in summer? I actually dodge them in summer too. Uh, it's, that was hard. Yeah, fall you have to kill them. The if you notice like the Venus flytrap things earlier, in spring they're like small, but in fall they're like four times bigger or something. Like getting a mumbo token out of one in spring is not nearly as hard as it is in fall. And speaking of mumbo, it's like he only like, works in one season. Yeah, he only works in spring. And if you go to his like his uh, hut and any of the others, he'll be like on vacation or something. <laughs> in fall he's like mumbo need to sweep leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Time or can I show off this like, grand prize that we have? He's very busy standing still. Exactly. He's holding Z right now. <laughs> so this <laughs> is the grand prize uh, gun blade. How it's sharp is that? Is that sharp? It's no. not that It's the same oh, no. as the it sword be, last year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it does, sorry, you can't actually fight anyone with it. Yeah, no criticals or anything like that. But it does have a revolver and everything, and the uh, Griever insignia right here. And it's pretty awesome, and it's a $40 donation to get in. We also have a grand prize, a deluxe Wii U bundle with Zombie U, new Super Mario Brothers Wii U, and uh, two nunchucks and two nunchucks and remotes. And now it's a $30 buy-in, and you this can have the to, real scary jump. to three bids oh. with oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. He knew. He knew. He knew. <laughs> he knew. He knew. I was he not was sure. never with <laughs> I was definitely not sure. He must play the chair. <laughs> I fall here sometimes too. This is like kind of weird. Like on this jump right? Yeah, I don't know the camera. Because I'm like going towards the camera. Yeah. So hard to get perspective when you're moving towards it. We got $20 from Matthew Diozegi. First, I want to thank Stivity, Cosmo, Siglemic, and all of the other speedrunners who fill our nights with entertainment and fun. I lost my grandmother to breast cancer before I could meet her, and all my donations are to honor her. This is my first donation in the marathon, but not my last. Please put $10. Is that the Or is that the other one? What did I forget? Did you forget the one back? I don't remember. I can't think. Oh, this one? Okay, yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Click clock wood, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I said, one mistake, very costly. Matthew would also like to put $10 to the N64 Mystery Prize and $10 to the Grab Bag number two. Uh, we just need to remind uh, the chat that prizes are based on when you actually donate, which for right now, the uh, what you're donating for is are those uh, N64 binoculars. So, but yes, it is based on the game or the block of games that you are in. Yes, yeah, so you automatically get entered for a prize. You don't have to allocate money towards a prize. Right. And donating at any time gets you into the drawings for any of the grand prizes that might just show it off the Gunblade or the Wii U bundle. Uh, is that the same for the Triforce? No, Triforce is specific. Okay. Yeah, that's game specific. That's but it's specific. for the entire Zelda series. Right. So that'll be basically for like a whole game. Ah, okay. 
So yeah, so it's the Wii U bundle package and the Gunblade. If you donate at least $30 at any time during the marathon, you will be entered in for the Wii U bundle, even if you won a prize prior to that. And uh, if you donate at least $40, you're in, uh, uh, you could possibly win the uh, Gunblade. And again, even if you win prizes before that, you can still win that as well. So I've kind of been wondering about this for a while. Does Gobi show up in Click Clock Wood? If you don't complete his uh, sequence in Goey's Barrow? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Because in Tui, he doesn't appear in Hailfire Peaks if you don't free him in Witchy World. So, I think it works the same way. That's interesting, actually. So you can't get this Jiggy unless you make him spit out the honeycomb in Goey's Valley. Therefore, getting... Yeah, yeah, that, that is right, actually. So doing all of that is canon. <laughs> We got $10 from Matthew Crossley. Hey guys, I've been following the stream for most of today, and I'd like to give a big thanks to all the people there, taking time out of their lives to raise money for a fantastic cause. I've had three generations of family members that have died all to cancer. Here's hoping for a change of luck. Fun fact about that uh, boulder he just broke, you can actually break it in spring. Yeah, you get under the water, right? Yeah. I forget where the out of bounds is for that. No, you can. Uh, or the massive can, ground pound. I think you can also use an egg too. Yeah. yeah. We have another fifteen dollars and forty-five cents from Two Play. Hey again, hey again, everyone. Two Play here. I love what Mirror did with my fifteen forty-five. Fifteen forty-five on Franker Z. So here you go. I would like Mirrored to choose where this money goes, and Mirrored, please choose wisely. AKA, don't do another minus 15 on Frank Z. Alright, this goes to Octodad. Get Octodad in this marathon. Alright. <laughs> Not a prize. <laughs> Not a prize. <laughs> We've got $45 from Louis Calvo. Keep up the good work. Hope to see more in the future. I can't unsee that. Those birds are so much bigger. Yeah. I never noticed the that. The fly so traps are so huge, too. we got $10 from Andrew Kim. Shout outs to Stephanie. We got one more 1337 donation from Jolteon 1619. Third and last donation for Banjo Kazooie. I'm glad there was picnic on Twitch stream. Otherwise, Stiv's speedrun would be, wouldn't be complete. Wahi! I think that was Wahe. Wahe? Okay. It's what the uh, the polar bear Boggy says uh, when you're okay. racing him. I didn't know. I was too confused. We got $15 from Bluestrom S. Great stream. Also, foot of the couch, please. Thanks again and hoping for some super meat boy. Uh, it just says foot of the couch, please. Oh, oh, oh. It, yeah, I think it means off. How much did he donate? 15, so it's 25 against right, 20. 25 to 20. We got $25 from Nat Gwyn. Another 20, uh, uh, another $25 if Kirk Q plays Die Hard shirtless. <laughs> A further $50 if he breaks the world record. We'll go for 50. We'll go for 50. Six dollars from Kevin Wu. Keep it up, guys. Five dollars and fifty cents from MJK47. Hey guys, MJK47 from SDA here. Just saying, happy marathoning. We got twenty dollars from Ian Ford. Here's twenty bucks towards green. Uh, from green shirty guy swapping places with Cosmo. It's his turn on the couch now. 
Love from Scotland, Cozen. Are we down for that? Alright, yeah. Alright, it's done. <laughs> you gotta donate if you want Cozen back sure on the couch. <laughs> now we're playing musical chairs. So you need to get six acorns for this squirrel, but he's incredibly lazy because 